Hi there, welcome to video number two on the calculus of variations. In this video I'm going to derive the potential energy equation for a rope hanging between two pulleys. Let's imagine you have a, a rope and it's hanging between two pulleys. There's a pulley there and there. And we're looking to find the potential energy of that system. Now if we make that the ground, then we're looking to find the potential energy equals the mass times the gravity times the height. Now if we were to split this pool into the rope into small elements here, then we could look at this in terms of a mass per unit length. So if we call large m the mass of the entire rope, so let's say the mass of the rope is 100 kilograms, and we call the length of the rope 10 meters, then you would have a small m, which is mass per unit length, would equal 100 upon 10, which would be 10 kilograms per meter. Now if we look at that in terms of infinitesimals, we could say that dm a small element would equal m upon l ds. Now, don't be confused by that. If we were to take ds down underneath here, we would have dm upon ds, which would have the same ratio as m upon l, which would be 10 kilograms per meter. So now, what about this factor here, ds? Well, ds is a small element, so it's a small curve. There's a small curve there. So how do we work out what that small curve is? Well, you can use simply Pythagoras. If we draw out a triangle, and we see dy squared, and we call that dx squared, and that would be ds squared, then we could say that ds squared equals dx squared plus dy squared, and if we were to divide throughout this by dx squared, then you can say that ds squared upon dx squared equals 1 plus dy squared upon dx squared and that can be written as ds upon dx equals the root of 1 plus and if we write this in a different notation we'll write it in the notation of of y derivative of x squared, then you could take the dx up and you'll have ds equals root of 1 plus y derivative of x squared times dx. So we can take this here and we can put it in for ds up here. So there you're going to have the small element dm would be the mass per unit length times the root of 1 plus y derivative of x squared by dx. Now that's just one mass element. If we want to find out what the total mass would be, we would have to add up all of those elements all along the string here from 0 to L. So if we put in those limits of integration and we say that the energy potential then will be the integral from 0 to L 
of m upon l times the root of 1 plus y derivative of x squared all by dx then this here would be the mass if we multiplied that by g that would be the gravity and the height that we're looking for well the height is all are all these height elements here and if you gave that a coordinate system and you called that y and you called that there x then this curve here we could just call it y of x so that's just a function y is a function of x so we could put this in here y of x now I'll rewrite it down here make it a bit neater and tidier we well, note here that what we have here is just a potential energy mass gravity times height this is a mass that's the gravity that's the height and we're adding up all of those elements this the integral from 0 to L by dx so I'll just write that once more down here and also note that these values here M and L and G these are constants they're fixed numbers dependent on the system so G is a fixed number M and L are fixed dependent on the mass of the rope and the length of the rope so we could take these out of our equation just now and just call it a constant so for the moment what we'll do is we'll just ignore them because every other manipulation of these of this equation here when we manipulated the equation we could just after the final manipulation we could just multiply by whatever that constant is so we'll just take those out just now and you're going to be left with energy potential would be the integral from 0 to L of the root of 1 plus y derivative of x squared times y of x all by dx so this here is the equation that we're looking for and the one that we'll use throughout the next few lectures okay thanks for listening to this video and i'll catch you on video number three